do an epic My Damn Toys video. Today we got a batch full of customs to show you guys, and a lot of them you have seen, but some of them you haven't seen, and they're pretty damn epic. I'm pretty excited for them, guys. Uh, starting out first, guys, let's just go ahead and dive right into it, because these are two of the most exciting things that I'm going to get into here today, guys, and I'm talking about Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy, and yes, ma'am, right here, we're talking about Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy. They are uh, they're my favorite tag team in AEW right now, them and the Young Bucks, you know, I have to say the Young Bucks too, because I've, I've loved the Young Bucks for a long, long time, but ever since the inception of AEW, guys, um, and, and just the first time I ever saw this man, I didn't watch his runs in Lucha Underground, I saw him literally in the Battle Royal. When he came out in that Battle Royal, guys, he totally shocked the hell out of me, I was like, what in the hell is this right here? And then I fell in love with the look, I fell in love with the gimmick. I love his athleticism. I love the look of the man. I mean, his freaking, he's a, he's, he's a freaking freak, all right? He, he looks like a, a complete badass, and I'm mesmerized by Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy. I think they're fantastic, and I think they're going to be an easy favorite for people when, uh, you know, they get to television on TNT, and so you guys know that All Out's coming up, and I'm super excited for that as well, man. I cannot wait for it. Bad news out of AEW and All Out, though, is that Kenny Omega and Jon Moxley will no longer be going one-on-one -on -one because of, uh, you know, Jon Moxley having some more issues with his elbow. Very unfortunate situation, and he will not be wrestling Kenny Omega, but Kenny Omega is wrestling Pac, so that is a good thing. Um, however, we wish a speedy recovery for Moxley and Ambrose or whatever the hell you want to call him. He's Moxley now, so we're going to, uh, hopefully he can get back in for it here, but let's get into the customs, guys. This Luchasaurus and this Jungle Boy right here, the head sculpts were made by BEW, and I want to get in here because I want you guys to see just what we're dealing with right here. Uh, we, we'll start off with Luchasaurus, and you guys can just see the comparison uh, between this head sculpt and the actual look of Luchasaurus, and I am in love with this. I think this is one of my favorite figures in my collection. Now, it is not any by any means is it done. It's not done yet, but the, I think the formula works so very well. Bew can just 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 destroyed this head sculpt. He freaking nailed it, and it looks beautiful. And so I'm very excited to get this figure completed. I did order the decals. I got the tattoo decals coming from Curb Stomp City Custom decals, and so we're gonna get those on here. I think the formula formula just works perfectly. I think it's torso here, the big shoulders, the big arms, and the gauntlets. I'm, I'm working on painting those right now. They're not completely painted yet, but uh, I did throw on a uh, ascension little uh, throw right here for the waistband. You know, he does rock this around his waist. I didn't paint it up accurately. I just threw on a thin coat of gold paint and then sealed it up in the shiny material. I think that will work for me. Um, again, I don't want a lot of paint on this guy, so what I did for the legs is I literally just, uh, I sort of just dry brushed on a thin coat of green, and it came in kind of gave it that scaly look that Luchasaurus uses over his tights. So that is what I went with there. And then for the knee pads and lower legs, I just went with Elite 57 Seth Rollins to give it the gold knee pads and the gold kick pads. I have to paint up the rest, but um, it's pretty much just missing his tattoos and his hands because I got to add some paint to the fingertips and I have to add the decals to that. So that is it for Luchasaurus, but he looks beautiful, man. I am super hyped for this Luchasaurus figure and it's going to be beautiful. So Luchasaurus is the first custom we got right here and it's free. I can just can't get over it, man. It's so freaking epic. Look at it. It looks so badassery. So we got Luchasaurus, but we couldn't have Luchasaurus, a boy and his dinosaur, without a boy, right? You gotta have Jungle Boy, and Jungle Boy is right here. This is a Shawn Michaels head sculpt, and it looks good as well. I like how he has the thick hair going on. The head may look a bit large at times, but I think that's just because of the thick hair, which isn't a big deal to me. I enjoy it. I like it a lot, and so uh, we just went with a small torso. You know, it's an HBK torso, uh, Chad Gable or Seth Rollins' arms, and and then uh, I put this little Tatanka waist thing on him because it looks good. I still have to acetone this off. I just think that fit him well just because, you know, we don't have brown trunks. So I figure why not throw this little uh, throw over him here, the little waist, whatever the hell you want to call this. And uh, it just works perfectly. A little skirt deal. And it works perfectly. I haven't covered the HBK logos. I don't even know if I will. But nonetheless, the Jungle Boy does look great. I'm really happy with it. And it looks good, man. And, and, and down below, we got some Tatanka boots on there. I am working on switching out the lower legs. I'm going to to switch those out for some shorter legs and he is probably going to be dropped down maybe a little bit more maybe like right here hopefully and hopefully that works out well but uh, I'm, I'm absolutely in love with both of these things I think they look great man Jungle Boy and uh, Luchasaurus are looking great and once they're completely finished then uh, we're going to be working on something man I think this is definitely the best looking Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy that I've seen and I haven't really seen a lot of them so I think that uh, once these are completely finished they're going to be some of the best in the game so there is Luchasaurus 
we're saying Jungle Boy. Up next, guys, we have a custom Jeff Hardy, and this sucks because it totally, I mean, like, geez, man, this is a, a fantasy attire deal that I was working on. It's inspired by Bound for Glory 2013, I think, is the attire that I'm inspired by, but I wanted to go with, like, an all-white attire with, like, a blacked face, and it just went to hell real fast, guys. Um, I'm gonna have to completely, like, redo this. The only thing I can salvage is the shoulders, arms, legs, and head scan. I know I say completely, but it's got it's got to be completely redone because um, I'm going to have to remove everything. This torso is a piece of garbage. It does not sit flush on these legs. So this crotch piece right here, it's like coming apart right here. You guys can see that right there. I tried to put stuff there to have it sit flush and have it, you know, sit there and nice and just flush and just flush. I said flush five times. Flush, flush, flush. I've tried it many times. It just will not sit right. Um, this is like, look at this ab crunch right here. Look at that right there. It's so stiff. It's like chipping. It's just atrocious. So what I'm going to try is a different method for this Jeff Hardy, but I'm not going to give up on it. Again, I'm going to salvage everything that I can, and we're going to redo this torso, and I swear to God, I'm going to get this right because I really want this to look great. And uh, if it was just sitting on the shelf, it wouldn't be a big deal, but I do plan on using this for some other things, so I do not want to just have it sitting there. So I got to make it where it's posable. I got to make it where it doesn't look like a piece of garbage up close, and it just doesn't look good. But, you know, from here, it looks fine, you know, just chilling, and I mean, you can see some spots, but I do love this Jeff Hardy. I really want it to work, so I'm going to redo this thing, um, but I did want to show it off here today because it does look good. I, I, I do like it, you know, again, just sitting here, just chilling on the shelf. It looks great, but uh, besides that, it's just a piece of trash, so we're going to redo it. We're going to make it a lot better, and that is my Jeff Hardy figure there. Next up, guys, we have, we have this fantasy attire Finn Balor right here, and I don't know why I haven't showed you guys this. A few people have spotted it on the shelf just chilling, but uh, this is what we got going on. It's sort of like an orange and purple just sort of chilling right here. I got bored one day, just decided to work on some stuff. I got like the shiny orange on the inside of the dark orange right here going on on the trunks and stuff on the back. You got like an eye. You got some other things going on. You got, you know, the purple tongue. Really like the way this fin came out, but, you know, it's just one that just chills on the shelf. It's just an extra fin I had laying around, so I went ahead and just went kind of butt nasty with it, and uh, here we go. You got some flames on the eyes there, and he just looks, he looks pretty sweet, nasty particles. I'd love to know down in the comment section below, guys, what do you think about the Sven Balor. I, I like it a lot. Uh, it, it's just one that I never showed off for some reason. And so here it is in the flesh. And I do like it. I would love to know your thoughts down below. Kind of just an awful wall uh, Finn Balor custom that we got going on. But uh, we can never have enough Finn Balor. So this Finn Balor will go back on the shelf and just look good up next to the other Finn Balors. I really love this Elite 41 head scan, man. Just look at it with the demon teeth. By the way, this is all hand painted. This is no, you know, painting of This is legitimately, this was a blank figure looking at it. Um, and uh, I, I'm happy with the way it turned out. Next up, guys, these are some figures that you guys have already seen, but I wanted to run through them again because, you know, they're, they're customs. They're brand new customs that we just did in the last couple days. So this first one is this uh, Elite 70 Johnny Gargano. Again, we did add the emoji right there, which I'm really proud of. I think it looks just like the emoji because Mattel didn't give it to us, so I had to add that on there. We also switched out those lower legs and added some NXT TakeOver Dallas Network Spotlight Finn Balor kick pads, some Miz lower legs to give it that completed black look with the tape, and then uh, we added the feet from the Johnny Gargano. It makes it look so good. I'm freaking hyped for this, man. I really like this a lot. It looks a lot better, just so much better than my other Johnny Gargano, that, you know, Hall of Champions Target exclusive piece of garbage. Yeah, this, this just destroys it. So there's Johnny Wrestling, Johnny Football, Johnny, Johnny, Johnny Quest. Next up, we have a Pete Dunne figure, guys, and this isn't a custom, but it's gonna be, and this is what I wanted to tell you guys. I'm really excited for the way this one's gonna come out. I don't remember telling you guys if I was going to, uh, what I was gonna do with this extra Pete Dunne, and so I saw it laying there, so I was like, I need to plug this in because I want, I want you guys to know exactly what I'm doing with it, and uh, I'm gonna make this into an epic custom and uh, I'm just gonna give you a idea I guess I can give you a hint it's gonna be comic book theme and I'm gonna go uh, it's gonna be DC themed so DC comic book themed get on it leave all your predictions down below but I'm super hyped for it and uh, it's gonna be freaking badassery and I know one thing I'm afraid of though is once I get done with this custom what if they've already released that other P done we saw at San Diego comic-con what if they release another one and then I'm just sitting here with this one just pooping and peeping and then uh, he has the short hair so maybe we can just do a head swap or something I don't know we'll see but uh, that is it for that one. Next up, we have a couple of Dolph Ziggler's, and you guys saw these on figure surgery, so I'm just going to run through them real quick if you guys missed that. We have two different Elite 70 Dolph Ziggler's. We have one with smaller arms and white tape, and I painted on the black outsoles to give it a more accurate look. And then we have the smaller arms with black wrist tape, 
and black boots to give the all black look. Really, really love the way these both turned out. Still uh, getting a Chase variant, Dolph Ziggler. I don't know why the hell I said variant. So weird. Chase variant, Chase variant, Chase variant, 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 vari